cheat sheet. So <laughs> as the name suggests, I, I tried to you know, reduce cost. Once I decided to hire a team, I, I wanted to spend little and get the maximum out of it. So one of the ways that you do go about that is you sell the equity. So you, and, and this has happened to me. People have come to me and said, hey, you want to work with my idea? You bring your engineering skills and you know, we'll give you this much share. But what shares? Shares in uncertainty. I mean, <laughs> those are shares in uncertainty. You, I mean, okay, you are promising something which you are not sure about and you want my skills. And the same way I did that, I went to a couple of people, I went to a friend of mine and he was a very good software engineer too. And I said, you know, why don't you join me as a partner? Because I needed a skill to take like 30%, I take 70%, 70, 30. Sweet deal. And um, he came on board, started working on it. But I soon realized that he was not giving any input. He was not participating, you know, in, in feedbacks or his opinions, nothing. He was just doing his work. Whatever, you know, task he used to give him, he just needed to complete it and, and commit the code. That's it. The reason is because he, his intentions to join, he, he did not believe in my idea, by the way. He did not share that vision. He was the, not the right partner. He was someone that I should have hired rather than partnership. He never shared my vision and he was there just to, you know, learn something, just to sharpen his own, own skills. And so that's why I felt so frustrated with him. And when, I mean, I was not getting any kind of collaboration or cooperation with him. Just, just he was doing his technical stuff. And then I had to let him go. You need to hire people. You, do, you can't go about selling, you know, shares in your, your, your startup and just try to wow them with your idea and bring them on board. You need money. You need to hire them. So then I, I did decide to hire some uh, team. In, in offshore. But then here again, I did another cheap thing. I said, I'm gonna hire just the fresh graduates. And with my technical experience, and I will be able to, you know, get the work done. No, they were not that, that much experience, but I will be able to, you know, work it out. And I don't have to pay them much. They were literally free. <laughs> so, and another thing, they were all young, they were not married, they were yeah, like, you know, bachelors, so I thought, you know, why not overload them with multiple roles? So I asked them that you also have the responsibility to go out there and spread the word and, you know, get people to play this trumpet and collect the feedback and give me the report. They already were inexperienced and they were doing two things and they even don't know how to talk about the idea. Like, how can they pitch this to their friends? What ended uh, was in a disaster because I soon realized that I was doing most of the work because they were stuck most of the time in their technical you know, challenges. And also they were playing the dual role. They did not have time to work on their main, main goal and they were not very experienced on it. So eventually, you know, it became like a, like a headache for me. It, it, it was a drag rather than being inefficient. It was a drag. So I had to let them go to cheap sheet. It won't, won't work. You need money and you need to hire not the best people, but the right people. 